with this beautiful music that you perform, you of all people must understand the magic that is in music. Can you define it at all? That's a tough one. Uh -huh. um, I only know that it's really shaped my life and certain songs really affect me. I mean, if you think about, if you're watching a scary movie and they remove the music from the movie, will the movie be as scary? Probably not. <laughs> so true. Or if you watch Titanic without Celine Dion's My Heart Will Go On, would it be the same? No, it probably wouldn't because that music is really evoking an emotion from you. It's really touching you. So music, I think, has an effect on on. And it's everyone. amazing how it takes you back. Like, you'll be listening to a song and then it's like, oh, that, that was the song I heard with my first boyfriend. Nostalgia <laughs> and, and sentiment <laughs> yeah. and things come rushing back. Right. For sure. And it, it brings on... Uh, like you say, uh, fear or love or warmth or a sense of valor. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's hard to understand the power of music. Mm -hmm. And you, it's a, because it's a subjective thing and it's something that you feel. It's not a logical thing. Emotion's not logical. And that's what, I mean, you watch an opera. I don't, I don't even really understand Italian, but when I hear certain songs in opera, it makes me want to cry. I don't even know if it's a sad song, but it right. might make me you don't want even to cry it. because yeah. it's the music. It's the mm. emotion that's in the music. So. How has it impacted your life then? Um, I know clearly, you know, your career now is in bringing beautiful music to others. So is what you're trying to do through your music, you're trying to bring that power to your audience? I'm trying to connect with people. I, when, I, when I write the music, I'm writing it from the heart. And, and when I'm collaborating with people, I'm writing it from their heart, too. I'm trying to capture what they're telling me into the lyric. And they're trying to capture my lyric in the music. So, um, yes, it, it, it's definitely going to affect people. And hopefully when people listen to your music, they're going to connect with it. And it's going to bring something into their mind that they had forgotten or make them feel better about a situation or really think about how that music makes them feel. Maybe they're not a person who shows a lot of emotion, but when they hear that music, it sort of brings that out for them. Mm -hmm. So if you're making a connection with people through your music. And that must feel good for you. Yeah. Because that, um, that's a gift. You're literally, you're giving your gift back. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it does feel good when, when a fan writes to you and says, you know, that song, I'm Gonna Walk Away, that you wrote from your debut album. I, I really enjoyed that song, and, and I just went through that situation. And, um, and, and it kind of gave me strength that I had done the right thing and that I had the strength to walk away from something. And when someone tells you that, that sure makes you feel good, mm -hmm. that they were listening to your song and that they made a connection with it. It meant something in their life. Mm -hmm. so. Has there ever been something that you've written about that maybe you were struggling through, and yet as you put the words down on the page, it began to make more sense? It's like it, it came from within you. It's a catharsis for sure. Um, there is a song on my debut album called Shadows, and it's about a personal experience. And, and sometimes you can't make sense of things until you start to sort of think about them, put them down on paper, and, 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 and then I, of course, I, I'll be singing it, just me and my guitar usually. And and I start to think about it, and it is—it's a catharsis. Mm -hmm. You're 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 living in that moment again, only from a safer place, a more objective place, even. So, Mark, what is the most magical music that you have ever heard? Whew, let me think. Do you know the theme from Monday Night Football? Dun 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 dun. No. Well, then you uh, does nothing for me. Every time I hear that, I feel like putting on the pads and knocking somebody out. You and Todd were talking about how it gives you goosebumps exactly. just to hear that. It's Monday That's Night insane. Football. That's just dun, crazy. Dun, 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 dun. Crazy. You just feel like cracking somebody's. Okay, let me calm down. Another, you know what else? Music that I really like inspires me is no, is sweeping. You know the song from um, Chariots of Fire. Oh yeah. I, I hear da, that. Da, choo, 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 choo. No, that's not it. Oh. Doom, 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 doom. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, but it starts. It starts. Bum, bum. Choo, 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 choo. Oh yeah, yeah. It does. It does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Every time I hear that, I just feel like running. Just like you know, in the movie, I run along the beach. Somebody should play it now. <laughs> Maybe run along. <laughs> Oh. That's messed up. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you run. I wouldn't want you to run along. Then I'd have to sit here and talk the whole time, like to myself. What you which do all the time? Anyway. I could do actually. All right, what, I talk to myself. You talk to music. yourself. Your I magic. do sometimes out loud. It's so embarrassing. Okay, my most magical music. All right, to be honest, it's a song by Michael W. Smith, mm -hmm. and it's called "Let It Rain." 
when I heard that song, my soul was raptured. It was like, it just it made me cry. It made me like, wow.